Okay guys, I have a system for you that's gonna get you a way to charge all your batteries. Like me, I have tons of batteries, all different sizes, and it's gonna be using this. It's the Eagle Worthy 52 volt battery for a server rack. What I'm doing is it's gonna be my solar rain barrel. Watch the video and I'll show you how I do it. It's gonna be awesome. All right, you can see above me right here is on the on my garage, it's facing south. It has Eagle Worthy solar panels that I made up. <laughs> Use the frame, actually the frame is an old bed frame that I welded up and stand. You can see up there. Now that, that's only giving me about 400 watts and the angle sucks. It's like way down for summertime. I don't have any means to adjust it. I'm really lazy to building that stand. Temporary, just a really big experiment, right? But that is what's powering the solar rain barrel. All right, this is gonna change on how you view solar systems in your garage, your house, your cottage, wherever, off grid, in your truck, your Jeep. This is gonna be a game changer. And this is what I call my solar rain barrel. Now, you know what a rain barrel is, right? You collect rain, you put it in a barrel, then you use it throughout the garden in your yard when you need it, because it's not always raining. Well, this guy right over here from Ecoworthy, I got this big honking 52 volt bat battery that's 100 amp hours, and I'm using it as a solar barrel. Now, you guys are, what are you talking about a solar rain barrel? Yeah, I just kind of didn't even know what I was thinking about when I got this battery. It's huge. I did not have a charger for it. I didn't even know if my puny little cells were gonna charge the sucker. So you see, I only got about 400 watts. Yeah, I got 400 watts up on the roof here. Just a little grid, right? Not all of us have the big fancy systems. How is it gonna charge us? Well, figured it out and it is gonna work slick. So here's the concept. I'm gonna draw this out for you. We have the big old battery here and I got my uh, Victron solar controller. I got my solar input coming in and it is doing, we're gonna show you right here on the app. Let's get to it. Where are ya? There you are. Connect, connect. As you see, over the last two weeks, I've been charging this. It actually took two weeks, and this is when we had some snow, the solar panels had snow on them. And then we came back up, and now we're fully charged on this battery. This took two weeks on 400 watts during the winter. Well, it's kind of getting crappy out here in Saskatchewan, so it's not the best sun that we have. But the whole idea of this, what we're going to be doing, or what I did, and I live stream this, guys. Now, don't forget, all my experiments that I'm doing, I'm live streaming them. So for the last two weeks, when I'm up to making this video now, I have been documenting it live. So you guys go check out my live stream and see what my current experiment is and you'll see it live so you guys who are who are watching thank you very much for watching it checking in and seeing what the sound conditions were now it's go time and we're going to be doing the video on this and showing you how it works all right so we got we captured all this power over the last two weeks now it's in here you may ask why a solar barrel well idea is this guy over here is going to charge that battery that's hidden behind there, that battery, that battery, that battery. I have a pile of batteries and they're all different manufacturers and all different sizes. How do you charge them up and keep them going? Well, let's use the rain barrel analogy. The rain barrel, which is this guy right here, is filled up now. And why 52 volts? Well, the 52 volts is what's gonna go back in. I'm gonna switch these leads around. And what we're gonna do is this is gonna be our solar panel now. This is gonna be our solar input. And then our battery is going to be hooked up to this. Now, just a word of advice. We got to be careful when we switch this over because we got this Victron solar controller set up as a 48 volt battery. Okay, see that right there? It's very important that we switch that back over to 12 volts, but we're going to switch it when we hook it up to the 12 volt. So if everything goes all right, we're not gonna get any big sparks or let the smoke out. We're gonna do the switch over right now to this mystery battery in here that may or may not be an Eagle worthy. I'm not gonna be saying anything. It's a battery in there. We're gonna be seeing if we can put a charge on it. So let's get her switched over. 
So first things first, we're gonna unhook the PV input right here. And then the battery's gonna come off. We're not gonna use the battery anymore. We're gonna take the battery connection here, get it unhooked from my foot, my, this is connected up into the battery. We're gonna hook this up to the battery now. It's hooked back up. Okay, there we go. We got, we are back on the battery voltage. Now we're gonna go and switch our battery to a 12 volt system. Okay, firm code, 9030. They don't want you blowing anything up. Pretty smart of them. Max charge current, 18 amps. We are, what do we got in there? Yeah, we're battery. So this is where we change any of our, our charge. If we have a small battery or a, or a big one, this is what we're gonna charge it, okay? So we're gonna charge it to that. We're good, let's go back. Okay, now we are gonna plug in our Eagle Worthy 52 volt, and it's gonna act as solar input. Now this is when stuff could go wrong. I hope it doesn't, I'm not fused. Okay, we're plugged in, let's see what happens. There's our power coming off. 250 watts of charging. Current is 18 amps. Battery voltage is 13.61. You guys, this is working. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I am using this as a solar panel in reverse on my solar controller into a battery. Now, like I said, I got a pile of these batteries. This is gonna work awesome. Let's go in here and check with the app um, of our Eagle or the right there. There's what we got going on. We are using almost five amps of charge current. That is so cool. This is so cool. This is gonna be a game changer, you guys. If you guys got any means to pick up a battery, if you're gonna buy one, don't be scared of this battery that we have down over here. This one is your workhorse. Now, you guys, we gotta do a little bit of math now. We hate it, but at 100 amp hours at 52 volts, it's not 100 amp hours at 12 volts, it's a lot more. You gotta consider batteries when you buy them is your watt hours. How many watt hours are in them? So do a calculation, I'm not gonna do it for you right now, but it's gonna be a lot more than what a 12 volt, um, what 12 volt uh, 100 amp hour battery, it's gonna be most likely five times more, right? So you do the math, you can figure it out. This is how it's done, and this is how I'm gonna be now capturing the sun. All right.